Yeah, um, it wasn't the most pleasing to the eye game. Obviously, offensively, there were times where I thought we did good things. We struggled. Give them credit. UCF's defense is one of the best in the country, but man, it was fun to win a game with defense. I mean, we hadn't been doing that very well. And to be able to not play well offensively and to out-rebound a team that going into the game we knew would be difficult to keep them off the glass. They were obviously shorthanded, not playing without their starting center, and we know what that feels like. So probably had a little bit to do with it. But just the fact that we found a way to win this game, got to the free throw line, made more free throws than they attempted, and then felt like not turning the ball over that led to baskets for them would be a big deal in the game. And then them having eight points off turnovers, they were problems, but it wasn't the difference in the game, thankfully. So really a, um, an ugly one in regards to the way we played, but found a way to do it, and I thought our defense improved. Obviously, Darian has a big piece of what you do, but he it seems like he's been getting more and more minutes. Like You just can't really afford to kind of take him off the floor. Was that kind of one of those things where he was just playing so well, you just got to stick with him? Yeah, his feel for the game, man, he puts himself in the right spots at the right time. And early in the first half, he didn't shoot it great in the first half. I mean, I think he started out one for five, but he made that free throw line when we uh, shot when they went to the zone and then missed a few. And I think it started to kind of half affect him, but he's such a pivotal guy, not just because his feel for the game's there, but like the offensive rebound to start the second half that he tipped in. And we went to him in the post in the second half to start the half. And they went down and scored and got a pretty easy basket. And we just weren't engaged enough defensively. And I thought he was the one guy that had an edge to start the second half, even though he maybe didn't have a great offensive first half. And just his will to win and his ability to rebound and then his ability to make a simple play without turning the ball over, handle the ball, give us another guy that can make passes and make decisions. It just really is huge for us and can't be overstated how important he is to our team. You guys are so guard heavy, especially with the three point shooting, just kind of wasn't there tonight. How big was it for you to be able to lean on your post guys to bring this one? Cause you haven't had to do that a lot this year. Yeah, well, I mean, we leaned on him and Warren scored early in the second half too, which was huge, but both their offensive rebounds. I mean, we haven't been a great offensive rebounding team and Warren was six and Darian with four. Those are big numbers for us on a night where we didn't shoot the ball great. How did you stress the rebounding uh, prior to the game? Because you've been on that three game losing streak. You wanted to make a, make a statement on the boards. Well, honestly, uh, not any different than what we've been doing. I think it's just the consistency of the work. Hopefully, we'll st pay dividends in the end. I know it's not for a lack of effort, but how concerned are you, are you about Pop's so-called shooting slump lately? <laughs> you like asking me about that. Um, we've been through this before. You know, I think anytime you're in this league and you're a guy that you know can can shoot the basketball, it's about how do you make the right play? And I thought Pop made some phenomenal passes in the first half. I thought he was really the ball mover that made the difference. And then, you know what it is, there's physicality over the course of the game and maybe you miss one, then you feel like you're gonna try to, you know, get it back on every possession. And I just think there's some continual growth that he'll have, he'll watch this. He's a student of the game. He loves this. He'll get back in the gym. He'll watch it. He'll get better because of it. He's just one of those guys that always keep getting better because he loves it. So I got no no thoughts on anything in regard to that. I think he'll he'll get right back where he wants to, uh, and he can find a way to win. The first half, I don't know what the numbers are. Somebody can correct. Maybe he had four assists, no turnovers at the half, and uh, but. You know, and I thought his defense was really good too. So he'll he'll find a groove. He works too hard not to. Coach, you mentioned what Darion was able to do to their zone, and Kerwin had a lot of great looks in the first half. I guess how much did y'all really prep for that? And I guess did you expect them to maybe go into those looks as much as they did? Yeah, I mean they've shown zone quite a bit actually, and in all the games where they make a run, they jump into it and they stick with it. They beat Kansas with with it. They beat Texas with it um, when they were on the road. But, you know, this is what I love about our team. Chance McMillan, I think, started 0 for 4 from 3. And then 
he made that one that was big and I'm looking at our staff and it's it's simple when you do it the right way zone offense can be as long as you share the ball and you pass fake ball fake and face the basket and don't go sideways and try to get paint touches and they're like trust me chance is going to make it you know that's what I love about our team and they believe in him and he's one of those guys that works hard too and big shot he made I thought to open the game up when we needed it uh late um but yeah I mean Kerwin in the first half got great looks and we 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 do need to figure out a way to involve Warren in the zone a little bit better I got to do a better job helping him get more get more options uh, but we've got one of the best zone offenses in the country, and our guys have good spacing, and I thought we made good decisions in it. Coach, when your guards, Pop and Joe, aren't clicking as well on offense, but you get contributions from Darian and Warren, I guess what does it speak to how this offense can evolve throughout the course of a game? Yeah, I mean, I said that to them at the, in the locker room at the end. I was like, look, you know what's great about basketball? It's a team game. There ain't nobody out here playing by themselves. So – when when you and basketball's not just shooting basketball's defense basketball's how do you rebound like how do you stay connected when things don't go well and we 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 weren't great in that area at times that's where we'll just keep growing as a team and but these guys ain't they've got no quit to them man it's a fighting group and i thought we displayed that tonight and finding a way to win Touched on it a little bit, but with Kerwin able to knock down four of those three pointers in the first half, I guess what kind of spark did that give you in the first half? Yeah, it was huge. You know, and I loved like I think maybe my favorite possession was we kicked it ahead to him. He made a three, and then we got to the clock winding down. He'd been making a bunch, and Pop had caught it on the right slot and snapped it to him in the corner. He got the and one, or he didn't get make the free throw, but he he got a. He got fouled shooting and made that three. I just thought it was good awareness by our group, you know, to keep sharing the basketball. And we got squeezed a little bit in the second half. And I think they started bullying him off the line and we weren't as physical handling the ball as we needed to. That was where Kerwin will continue to improve because if they're going to run him off the line, he's got the ability to finish. Just got to keep being stronger. Coach, on many instances today, it seemed like you were just one play away from breaking this game open. It, it, it may be a critical stop or a critical shot, and you just couldn't quite get over the hump there. Um, well, what is the key uh, to, to actually getting to the point where you can start making those critical plays in the game and get a little separation so you don't have to do it the hard way? Yeah. Um, you know, we've been, we've been good in transition in this building, and our ability to get stops that leads to baskets. You know, in the first half, it's kind of how we created some momentum was we were able to get stops and then we were able to get baskets. And today, a lot of it, give them credit, we weren't able to transition for baskets. I mean, it felt like everything at the rim, we, they either blocked it or we tried to draw fouls and missed layups, you know? And it feels like when you miss those kind of opportunities, those are separators for us, especially with our lack of size. How can we create some transition baskets with our defense and open the game up that way? And we we just lacked, you know, a few opportunities to to capitalize, I think, on our defense. And it feels like with this team, when we can do that, we, we can separate from people. But we're just going to have to walk the ball up and grind it out in the half court it makes it more difficult for us to get separation. So that honestly feels like the difference is when we can get that, like Chance had a dunk and made a, the kid made a heck of a play to block it. But like those feel like those ones that we can ignite what we're doing and create some separation. And we just weren't able to get transition baskets in the second half. I mean, it was, those were hard to come by. Even as many shots as we made them miss, it was hard to come by. You got you guys um, got Warren back up today. You guys seem to miss him on on Tuesday. What do you what is what does he bring to you guys when he's on the floor that you maybe miss from him when he isn't or misses a game? Yeah, you know Warren is a facilitator for us. He's not just a defender, but I think if you watch that end of the game when Johnson drove it left, 
and Joe fell down, and then he spins, and he runs into Warren, you know? And that's such a difference maker when you have someone's activity level like him who can plant themselves at the front of the rim at the end of games and really create mismatches. And, and I thought Rob was great in the first half, too. We, our ball screens coverage struggled in the second half, but for the most part, Warren's facilitating, and then ultimately his rim, rim defense is a difference maker for us. You guys way in the final two minutes. Of course, you got the, the steal from Joe, and you guys got the offensive rebound there to get some free throws there at the end to put the game away. What do you feel like happened there in those final two minutes that allowed you guys to pull away and put the game away? Yeah, well, any time – I told him in the timeout, like, don't settle, because I felt like we were kind of half settling a little bit. Try to go create – go put pressure on the rim and – you know, I thought Joe did that. I mean, he could have probably tried to shoot a step back or try to – and he, I thought he just drove it really hard and got, got fouled. And then Chance McMillan's been awesome, man. His energy level for us is just great. And I, th I told him at halftime, Darian Williams' offensive rebounding in the first half I thought was huge for us. And so I said, let's figure out to win these, these games with effort plays, man. Let's, let's go in there and find a way to come up with a loose ball and – you know, those last two minutes, I thought our guys did that, made some great effort plays and found a way to come up with loose ball, offensive rebound, and get to the free throw line. Those are, those are tough ways to win games. Coach, which sort of been the initial morale of, uh, uh, amongst all the guys uh, after getting a win, after losing, you know, three really tough games? Honestly, our guys look disappointed that we didn't pull away. And I think – Part of that is we do have a real offensive-minded team, so we didn't play great offensively. And, you know, I like it that we won with our defense. And it wasn't great. It wasn't always great defense, but I think you got to learn to win different ways if you want to win championships. And I thought this will – and on film, it will really go a long way for our ability to tell them when we get in timeouts – when we have a lead, we can win it with our defense. Let's figure out a way to keep getting stops. And I think that grows you as a team in your maturity in finding ways to do it differently. And we've been kind of heroic with some offensive plays to win these games. But it's great to find a way to separate and get stops to win. Uh, Coach, you talk about Pop's defense. There was a moment in the first half where he kind of got up in the cellars and I think caused him to turn it over. Um, what do you think about you know the way your defense was to especially turn him into a, you know, more of a shooter as opposed to a, a driver. Yeah, no, he's, he's an aggressive player and he gets to the free throw line and we were concerned about him coming into the game and to be able to stand him up a few times. Now he rhythmed into some threes. He, 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 he put us on our heels a few times. He ended up with 14 and obviously him going four for six from three, but he was one for seven inside the arc. And I thought that was, a, a really big deal for us is our physicality on him and then he didn't get to the free throw line once says a lot about our ability to stand him up and make him shoot contested jumpers as opposed to get all the way to the rim thank y'all